So um, I started my journey as a bug bounty hunter in 2012. I ended up, um, while I was doing bug bounties, right, as a white attacker, I used to find out vulnerabilities on companies like bigger companies, um, Uber, Twitter, Meta and all. So we, uh, white attackers, right, we follow a approach to find out security issues. We, we try to figure out like what IP addresses these companies are having, what subdomains are they having. And at the end of the day, the, these assets belong to a cl particular cloud uh, provider of that company, right? So, so what I realized is, um, what we ended up realizing is, hackers are hackers were finding different kind of issues on their cloud, whereas people like me, like subdomain takeovers and everything, whereas companies are fixing different kind of issues. Even even if you look at like. In the numbers which are out there, the leading bug bounty platform, right? Uh, you would find that the hackers are still finding different kind of issues, whereas the tools are reporting different kind of issues. The reason for that is like current companies are using so cloud security solutions which are mostly on defensive side. They don't do offensive side. So basically offensive is something which a hacker would f exploit in your company right away at that very moment. So to have that visibility, you need to have something which gives you clear visibility from an attacker's perspective, or you can say attacker's intelligence, rather than you finding issues which are really not vulnerable outside. So what, what I got to, so talking about some of the examples, so I was working with one of the companies, they were using some cloud native solutions which, which, are, which are out there, and all, all of them are defensive in nature. So what happened is they, they were looking at the dash, dashboard, there were 2,000 critical alerts, and in that one critical, 2,000 critical alerts, there was only one or two critical alerts which were really, really exploitable. So in offensive, you, what you would end up doing is you will have a clear attack path, how something is getting exploited from outside, how a hacker would do from outside, rather than you fixing um, random issues. So we have very good security researcher, research team. We have one of the top ranked uh, hacker on Dropbox in our team and multiple other uh, people in the team. So our team has written research framework which continuously cross, uh, crawls entire internet and uh, more kind of ML kind of a system and uh, where we do uh, we do signature based detection and we keep updating latest uh, threats which are coming in and uh, also see like what attackers are figuring out, what attackers are releasing in public environments and uh, trying to exploit them, exploit everywhere in the internet. So I think that's very important if you, if you keep on innovating every day and, um, and you fit that in, in your uh, product, th that will make internet more uh, safer place. Yes, yes. So we, uh, the best thing that we do is we we combine like both offensive plus defensive approach to cloud security. We are the very first product out there who is building on the offensive category, and uh, we feel like the, the the team members and the leaders, right? They should have that clear visibility what is going to ex get exploited right away. Our idea is to make all the companies who are securely migrating to cloud as well as companies who are currently on cloud. We want to ensure that. Um, they have like clear uh, and secure environment rather than they end up getting hacked during their entire process. I think that's, a, that's the way we are going to make internet a more uh, safer place.